hello everyone uh welcome in today's uh, video today i want to answer a question that uh, many have been asking about how i do eliminate the molds uh growth and the fungus growth on my hydroponic fodder Uh, to do this, I have been able to eliminate mold and fungus growth uh, through five uh, ways. The very first way is by using zinc or bleach or chlorine to treat your seeds before you plant them. Please watch my video. Uh, on hydroponic seed incubation that video will uh, direct you on how to do it perfectly number two is by making sure that the place whereby i plant my fodder there is no any dust remember the dust normally contaminates the fodder growing fodder making it to start growing some molds. Whenever we have dust, then automatically the molds will be present also. So make sure that there is no dust of any kind. Number three is to always ensure that my trays are slanting to ensure that all the excess water drains out remember you have to make sure that all the excess water is draining out uh, comfortably your seeds must not be flooded with water but just wet so each and every moment your seed must be wet but not flooded with water if flooded with water chances are that you are for fodder will have some some molds uh, definitely number four is that when i am preparing my seed all the seeds that normally fruit i normally remove them those seeds are normally the impurity and those impurities if present in your seeds then they normally generate or they normally grow into into molds because they never germinate so they will start rotting and finally what will be produced is just the molds the other thing that i normally uh, look at number five is that the temperature i normally do my fodder inside a room so this room normally control the, the temperature what i normally provide inside that room is only the translucent sheet on the top to always allow the sunlight to get into my fodder for them to grow well and for them to grow green the way uh, you can see they are very green that means that uh, they have obtained uh, enough sun for them to, to to be green as they are if they do not get sun sunlight then they will grow but they will be yellow in color they won't be having the the, 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 the green coloring matter the chlorophyll which is normally there each and every moment uh, the plant get enough uh, sunlight or from the sun so you must be very careful when looking at at that uh, I think I have uh, tackled all of them thank you very much for watching for more videos please remember to subscribe to my channel below thank you very much